What's up guys, my name is Carlos Burrow. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel once again. Um, today we have a Q&A that we uh, are long overdue for. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. We were traveling so much back in the United States. Now we're back in Mexico. So we are back to this normal routine. We're here taking some video for YouTube content. And yeah, that's where we're at in life right now. Advice. A relationship advice. A relationship, a relationship advice. A relationship thing we ask on YouTube. Uh, on, sorry, Instagram. Mm. Okay. There's been some good questions. So for those of you who are participating in these uh, questions, I really appreciate you. And hit the like button. Yeah. Should we give some Subscribe. background about us? No, they know. <laughs> this is a YouTube algorithm. We have to be careful what we say. <laughs> Okay, of course. Of course. Also, guys, I filmed a um, proper cloth video for you guys as well. So make sure you stop by. And also, I'm doing a good collaboration with them, building a capsule collection. So look out for that, please. Okay. So, should we jump right in? Sure. Okay. Uh, so, the first question is, does having a best friend from the opposite sex cause insecurity in relationships? Mm. I, I think we actually have a firsthand story time that we could share. Yeah, we do. Okay, so I'll share because it's, for me, I really thought for, until I met Carlos, I really thought like guys and girls can't be friends. Not like really. And so for me, it was a red flag if a guy had a lot of girlfriends or something like that. Like that was a red flag for me because in my own experience, anytime a guy wanted to be my friend, it was really like they wanted something else, you know? Nobody wanted to just be my friend. So that was my personal experience. So I just reflected that back to anybody else. So if somebody said they had a girlfriend and it was just a friend, I was like, no way. Like guys don't operate that way. That can't be the case. Yeah. And then I met Carlos and I remember when he told me his best friend was a girl and I was just like, in my initial reaction was like, wow. that's weird, <laughs> you know? Um, but I never had any weird feelings about Carlos at all. Like, so I don't know for whatever reason, I was open to the idea of it when in the past I never had been. Like I just never got weird vibes off of Carlos and, um, so I was, I was open to the idea. I was like, okay, cool, I'll meet her and whatever. And so I did meet her and she's the best. And I got no weird vibes from them with each other. I feel like you can tell kind of mm -hmm. if there's something kind of mm -hmm. weird, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't get any of that. And she was super great. And I just, it changed my whole view of the idea that men and women could potentially actually be friends. Um, do I think it works often? No, but I think in the right scenarios, it can. So I think it's just probably specific to the relationship and specific to the person. I feel like if you're in a relationship mm -hmm. with somebody and then they have friends that you're feeling insecure about, you should look into that more in terms of yourself. Like what about it is making me feel insecure? Do I have a feeling Mm. about this mm. you know and it doesn't feel right to me because i feel like trust your gut and if it's just you being insecure then you should go and work on that you know um but well, yeah you, you can have you could definitely have a, a... listen if if, Carla... if she had a guy best friend i wouldn't be happy straight up <laughs> i think if it came and out yeah, of nowhere that would be pretty weird but if i had like a, no, lifetime, yeah, if you have a lifetime guy best friend, friend it's a little bit different yeah. and also you, you could tell through people's intentions, through their vibe, their attitude towards you. Uh, I have had a, a couple of experiences in the past, a few relationships where, not, yeah, not, uh, where they're like, oh, it's just a guy friend, and you meet the guy, and the guy completely hates you, or like is looking at you some type of way, you're like, bro, come yeah. on, like, all right, you're trying to fuck my girl. Yeah. Um, and, you know, chances are they are. So, <laughs> so you gotta, like, you gotta watch that. But for me and my friend, we've been friends for such a long time, and I think that there was never a threat uh, you know, she was not the enemy. She was always a friend. So yeah, I it works say, out well. You know, I would say that well. that is a, a, a certain thing is like, you can definitely pick up a vibe from that person. And she was super 
welcoming towards me and like she made me feel really comfortable with the situation and not, it didn't seem like she was trying to, you know what I mean? So like, that was just, that's just who she is. And I like super trust that they're just friends. And okay, so here's a question. Um, I gave my boyfriend everything, my Mm. love and care and everything, but he still cheated on me, why? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Listen, that guy was very weak probably didn't know how to handle himself. He was probably very insecure within himself and didn't know how to manage his emotions and he was probably acting like a child. So listen, don't blame yourself for anything that happened. Don't blame yourself for anything that someone else did to you because at the end of the day, you had no control over the situation. And if you did everything you can and makes you a good person, then continue being a good person, but don't let that smear you into becoming something that you're not and focus on the good. And the good is that you realize that this guy was a piece of crap and he cheated on you and it's time to move on because we've all been there before. I've been cheated on myself and I think there was probably like 25 guys involved. It was almost like a, <laughs> like a circus, you know? And, I think that for me, I was like, I could have easily been like, you know what, I'm not going to trust anyone else ever, but it helped me to know myself more. And I was like, dude, next relationship, I know that I'm going to be a good partner. And I decided to take the good and we'll go with it because at the end of the day, those people aren't worth it. So just do that friend. I think the important takeaway is that it has nothing to do with you. If somebody cheated or they did something like that, it doesn't have to do with you or your self-worth or really your value or anything like that. Um, It has to do with them and some issue that they have going on because if they were a confident, strong, whole, healthy human being, they would have handled that situation differently. They, yeah. If they felt they needed something outside of the relationship that they weren't getting, they would have communicated that to you. Um, if they felt like that was not something that they could fix, they would have left the relationship instead of doing that to you. So it's a, it's definitely an issue that is theirs and not yours. So don't make it your issue, but, um, and it also depends on age. How old are you? Like how old is a person too? Because I feel like, um, a lot of times you go into these relationships very early on to your life and you expect the most out of them. But in reality, it's just a learning curve. So, you know, you learn a lot from yourself. You learn a lot from people you date. So it, I think, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're 50 or, or 40 and this is happening, then yeah, it sucks. But you know, if you're younger than that, then it's part of the game. It's part of learning. So no, okay. The Here's the deal. It doesn't matter how old you are it's still it's still not an appropriate way to behave yeah when you're younger i feel like it's more understandable because your brain's not fully developed that's what i'm saying like, if, if it's young yeah. if you're a young person but that person. doesn't mean it doesn't hurt when no that of course no i know it, it like, hurts and even at 50 it would still hurt like if somebody betrays you and your yeah. trust in that way i just think what carlos is saying is that like when you're young sometimes you go and make these type of mistakes because it's it's this is your opportunity to learn that you don't want to treat people like that and, and what have you. But yeah. with that being said, I would say this has to do with their character and trust that, that that, that is something that they're going through it has nothing to do with you, but have the value for yourself. If that's not what you want, have the value to walk away and know that somebody will treat you better. And you probably knew. Yeah. There's probably, there has a, there, there has to be a gut feeling that instinctual, instinctual, uh, like gut feeling emotion that you're like, oh, this is probably going south and you just decide to ignore it. And I think that, the, you know, that goes with um, maturing, maturing, as I like maturing. to say. And, um, you know, like just believing in yourself and, and, and feeling these things and being like, all right, my, I have to follow my gut and I can't, I can't second guess myself and also I can't uh, value myself so low i'm in a long distance relationship and sometimes i feel there's no love from her side how do i know if she loves me she doesn't um (laughs) i was in a long distance relationship with myself and um you could tell i think that's when you can really tell the true colors because you have to put more into it than being you know one-on-one in real time irl um irl so i think that it's, it's, it's just probably something, even if she, if there's no shady activity going on, there's probably, she probably doesn't have enough bandwidth for you 
And that alone right there says a lot about uh, someone in a long distance relationship uh, because I feel like, like I said, you're gonna have to put extra effort into it, making sure that the other person feels that comfortable with being in a long distance relationship, knowing that you're thinking about them. And yeah, you have to put in effort. It sucks, it's a lot of work, but if, if it's not both ways, then yeah, bro, or whoever, just move on. Move on. Or, you know, go have some fun, have a side chick, and then, you know, you have fun, have your fun. When no, she comes back, if she still it. loves you, go have fun, dude. Don't take things serious. Don't take a long distance relationship serious, honestly. Don't, don't, it's not worth it, okay? She's probably living her life, which is why she's not giving you any time of day. And it sucks, it's, but do you, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the woman's perspective on this. Yeah, that's a good thing. Don't yeah. say that I'm wrong, okay? I, well, I think, we just wrong. I think we just talked about how cheating is not good. So what I'm don't saying, have but this is completely chick. different. This is a different scenario. The, having the, a side chick is having a side chick. Unless the woman knows about it, then you're cheating on them. But it technically, he's not even in a relationship. He's in a long distance relationship. That is a relationship. That's a, a real relationship. Okay, anyway, if you're let me a 90 day you a... fiance, bro. <laughs> no, the, there are people that are in real relationships I mean, that, that don't live near each other for yeah. that moment. Well, yeah, yeah, there's, t there's a, there's Those a streak. Those are real if relationships. You good, if you have a good streak, then continue it. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Okay, well, anyway, my perspective is if you are asking yourself this question, if, you, if you're not feeling the love, I think the bigger question is what do you want out of a relationship? and really get clear with that. And if this relationship isn't aligning with what you really want, I think you need to communicate that to your partner and give them an opportunity to make changes or not um, and be honest with yourself about how you're contributing to the relationship. And if it, doesn't, if it doesn't end up aligning with what you're looking for in a relationship, have the self-respect to walk away from it and, because you deserve to have yeah. whatever it is that you want out of a relationship and there are there are people that will give that to you so you don't need to stay in any relationship long distance or not that isn't that isn't the type of relationship that you're looking for so i think that's the bigger question but it, it is hard to open up in a long distance relationship because you're not face to face and there's always something goofy that it feels weird when you're like talking to some it's like almost texting over like talking over email you know it's all it, well here's it's, the deal kinda, so has it always been long distance or are that's they in saying, a situation yeah. that's long because if if something happened where you and i had to be apart for a while yeah, no, it wouldn't be different. weird no, like we're yeah, yeah. we're so close like it's fine. that's what i'm saying if you're in a 90 day fiance situation where you're like you don't know <laughs> this person or like you met this girl on instagram and you guys are in a relationship i don't consider that a relationship like you know it, it's it's very hard if you start in a long distance because you don't know if this person's real or not dude especially now this day and age you don't know who you're chatting up with so for me long distance relationships are red flags off the bat and i don't think you're saying online relationship long no like, what i'm saying no what i'm saying back. is like if they met online and they're long distance like yeah. i just think that the the thing is yeah like definitely know what you're looking I'm for and, and communicate communicate, communicate be and, open and, and and just you know uh yeah and if it's not aligning with what you want then yeah then don't put all your eggs in that basket um but yeah. but yeah okay. go to colombia go to croatia go to russia go to go go travel and go enjoy your life dude um, okay, uh, next, <laughs> Jesus. uh, pornography viewing, is it an act of unfaithfulness? No. No, and you shouldn't be doing this, honestly. I, <laughs> the hands have come out I again. honestly, I, I was, I watched this video yesterday of, um, I don't even want to say these words because they're so foul, but, um, you don't know what's really going on in these, porn in these videos, so it's better to stay off of them. And honestly... It doesn't do anything for you. It creates false expectations. It creates a false reality of lo what love is, what a partner is, what a partner does or should do. So it's not unfaithful, but you could fall down this rabbit hole that's very unhealthy. And we don't have time to be unhealthy. I love that perspective, baby. I would say, too, though, let's say somebody has a healthy relationship with pornography. Like, the guy views it sometimes, you know, the or only the woman views it sometimes. Um, and it's not like, it's not becoming an unhealthy habit and whatever. I would say like, for me personally, it, does, it wouldn't bother me. Like it doesn't bother me if Carlos watches porn or anything like that. I don't think it's being unfaithful at all. 
yeah. at all. It's a it's a fantasy thing. It's like it has nothing to do with like. It'd be different, I guess, if they were engaging with somebody specifically and had a relationship of some type. Like a massage with somebody. parlor. Yeah, like That's that, different. like a massage parlor, or 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 even like a webcam girl that they pay consistently, and it's that specific person or something like that might be a little bit different because I feel like now you're engaging in a, a whole. It's not just fantasy now anymore. Now you're emotionally invested. Now, yeah, like whether or not the other person is or not, like you're getting something from that. That maybe is a bigger like why why you need that you know like I don't know um, that might be something to talk about but if it's just like normal like they're viewing stuff or whatever or there's even if they follow certain girls on Instagram or whatever like he talks all, all about Lorena Ray all the time about how much he like she's so beautiful and he loves her and like whatever oh. but like it does, not all the time but I mean it's a joke between us because of but, but it's the truth. Like, you have a legit celebrity crush on her, right? Like, I, it doesn't threaten me. <clears throat> like, I don't care. Yeah. You know, I think when you're in a healthy relationship, those things don't really bother you because you know that you're getting what you need from that partner and you know uh, you feel secure, you know? So, like, it's a, to me, it's more of a red flag when you are feeling insecure about things like that because that's usually... A sign like your gut is telling you something's not right in the relationship yeah. and I think that's what you need to explore more um, so maybe make your own maybe make your own with him and maybe he could watch it or she could watch it I feel like that's not that's a little bit more healthy if you want to watch porn um, no, unless you unless that was something you decided you wanted all on your own and not for the other person don't that's not I don't like that advice at all why to feel pressure to make a porn so that no, you're not making a porn watch. if you film it and you're like oh I want to rewatch it later on all right it's, if you're in a healthy relationship it's not going to go on if it was a healthy relationship would they even be worried in the first place about them oh, watching okay. porn maybe, maybe it's not healthy then I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm, no, I'm just saying I'm just saying <laughs> make your own porn make your own video like a little teaser video for your man or something I'm just saying, don't feel pressure to do that. I'm just, if you don't want to do it, but if you want to do that, then do it. <laughs> but yeah, don't listen. Don't worry about it. Um, just ask him. Confront him. Ask him. Not Wait, confront why? him. Communicate. And say, hey, man, it's just a porn thing. I don't, I don't feel healthy. I don't feel right with you watching it. Um, is this a girl or a guy asking it? it what, I think what this is a girl. Is this? This is a girl asking. Is it? I don't think it's an act of unfaithfulness. I think, I but you have to determine that for yourself. Yeah, you if it's something that you don't want, it's it's something that you don't want. So you communicate yeah. with him and say, hey man, I don't like you watching porn. And if he has a problem with it, then then figure it out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he won't unless he's really addicted to it. Then you have a big problem. Problem. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think porn can be dangerous in that way where you become desensitized or you have false expectations for what a, a healthy sex life looks like and things like that. So how what advice would you give a couple to spice things up in the bedroom? Don't have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> um I think to spice things up in the bedroom, I think that again it comes back to being open, being willing to try new things, um, listening to your partner. Um, I think that I think the main thing is being open and being willing to try new things. Because if you're super closed off to trying things, then how are you ever going to spice things up? Yeah, true. I would say try something different, either a different location, try a different position, like make it a game, try role playing. There's like so many different things that you can do to spice things up in the bedroom if mm. you're feeling like it needs that. Yeah, true. Um, and the main thing is being open because if you're not open to trying new things, then you're just going to be stuck to the same old, same old. And if you're even asking the question, that means you're probably not satisfied with that. So, yeah. And I guess what I'll say, if, they're, if you're asking about us specifically, um, just know that in a relationship, there's ebbs and flows in life. He joked about the baby thing. The baby thing does get in the way sometimes, guys. I'm not going to lie. The baby thing oh, gets in the way I think sometimes. every parent knows that for sure. Yeah. It, it's like, but I think like one thing Carlos and I know is that this is temporary. Like not to say that we don't have sex. We do have sex, but it's definitely not like 
before we had kids, you know, like before we had kids, it could be every day, multiple times, whatever, yeah, you know, right. now it's like, oh. obviously not as free because we have yeah. a child to take There's care of. There's someone always there. Right yeah. there. <laughs> so it's not as free, I guess, in this moment of our, you know, stage Parenting. of life. Yeah. Parenting so, stage. But we know that, um, but that's not always going to be the case, you know, so that helps. Is it worth waiting? Do you really ever know if someone is the one? Oh, uh, yes and no. <laughs> it's 50-50. Um, I think you'll probably know. Yeah, I think you do. You definitely get a, a, like, you feel a certain way for sure at the beginning and middle end. But I think uh, in terms of like, a relationship is always going to be a relationship at the end of the day. Like, I feel like it, you'll know, like, if you have, you know, the capacity to make changes within yourself. I think a lot of, like, finding the perfect person, I think, is, it depends on, it comes, like, within yourself. Because, like, a, a relationship, it all takes, um, like, grow, growing, like, growing out of, in, into a different and a new person because you have to change yourself to, to evolve, right? You're an evolving per human being. And then yeah. I think that when you evolve and you find a person you could evolve with, that's, I think that's, like, when you find the perfect person. But to say, like, a perfect person is a person that you're never going to have to grow. Like, you're never going to have conflict with or yeah, that you're never going to... That's not true. But, yeah. but I will say that I've... When I met you, like, I definitely felt different than I had with any other person mm. that I had been with. Like, mm, interesting. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely felt different with Carlos. And I feel like, even though in the, in the beginning, I feel like I wasn't like, this is the, he's the one. I knew that I needed to, like, continue to pursue something with him. Like, I don't know how to explain it. For me, it wasn't like this like thing that was like, yeah. I'm gonna marry him, I'm gonna have children with him. Like, this is the one right away. But right away, I knew something was different and I needed to continue to pursue it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I really felt that way because there were so many reasons why I felt that way, but, um, but, but yeah, I knew I think, that. I, I knew something was different about him and my, yeah, everything with you has been different. I knew I wanted, eventually being in a relationship with him, I knew that I wanted him to be the father of my children. Like, I think you definitely, yeah, you get, like, it's not like a, like a thing where it's just like a, a, a magical thing that you're like, oh, I'm in euphoria, kind of, wow, this is perfect, I don't have to, have to do anything different. I think that, um, yeah, it, you definitely feel different, different for sure, but. You guys, he's making it seem like he wasn't completely obsessed with me. No, I'm not, no, I'm not saying, no, I just don't want them to think that it's like, you know, you, it's like this, this thing where you're like, oh my God, it's perfect. All, like I found the perfect person and yeah. everything, every, all the boxes, like, I, I, it's not like a, like a thing where you're just like, this is, it's like, like I said, I think we're all evolving and it's like, what well, you'll know when you like, find the you, perfect. Who do you have fun with? And who when do you, you feel can be safe yourself, with? Yeah. Who can you be yourself with? And then when something does come up, can you talk to them or not? Like these four things, I mean, yeah. I think they, they're everything. And for me with you, that all those things, I could have fun with you. I could be myself with you. Being myself with anybody 100% is very difficult. Like it was almost yeah. just like my sisters, mm -hmm. like my family, and then maybe like one or two friends. But with any boyfriend in the past, I was never 100% myself. Never. Yeah. I was always like... They lucked out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they he's lucked like, out. He wishes, like, he's like, I wish she would shut the <laughs> F up. <laughs> oh, they got that version of you. No, you love me. Yeah. No. You love me being me. If you yeah. wanted, if I was that other person, you'd be so bored with me so fast. Yeah. I think so. For because sure. like, you need that. I feel like you need me and I need you. Yeah. Like we're good for each other. Yeah, for sure. And I think that that's what I'm saying. Like you'll, you'll, you'll like you'll click boxes, tick boxes that you'd be like, okay, this is good. But like, I just don't want you to have a false thing of like, you know, it's almost like that things are perfect porn. all the time. It's like the porn. Yeah. Like when you see someone moaning like crazy, like this is the way you should have sex. Like it's not like that. I feel like yeah. uh, you'll, you'll figure it out. But that's it's the all thing, about guys. how you feel within yourself and with it inside and follow your gut. You have to follow your gut always. Yeah. I definitely feel like that's really important is to remember that in any healthy relationship, 
it's not always going to be even keel. Like in terms of like, it's not always going to be at a high. Like you're going to have lows in your relationship. You're going to have, but here's the deal, man. We're on the same team. So when we go through lows, we go through it together. We go through highs together. It's not going to be like we're against each other. That's the thing. It's like finding someone who's going to be on your team and who you can be yourself with and who's themselves with you. Um, and yes, and I guess the main question is, is it worth it? Is it yeah, worth of waiting for that? Yes, don't settle, guys. Yeah, don't settle, Please don't, don't settle. settle. If you don't feel like you have, the, like I said, the relationship that you want, or you haven't found the person that you feel you have these types of feelings for, w wait, yeah, don't true. settle. Like, it's so worth it to have that person. It, it's the best. And also make sure you are aware of, like if you haven't found that person, you know, make changes along the way. Like I think yeah, it's very make sure important you're to make working changes, on yourself. work yourself along the way because like don't put, don't put like the effort into like Finding asking the perfect why person the other person didn't one. work for you. Like try to yeah. see why you don't work for yourself and then yeah. figure that out. And, and you're not changing the thing that's going to be very difficult to find. So I think uh, finding the perfect one comes with a lot of changes internally that you need to make a hundred percent i don't think i've we've talked about this before yeah. but i don't think i would it you came at the right time yeah for life. real same thing yeah like so. i i had to go through certain things i had to like i had to go to therapy myself personally like i had to really work on stuff before i think that i could be ready and the universe could provide me somebody like carlos yeah so just make changes yeah work on yourself always you have to yeah um cool okay 21 here i used to go to high school with this girl in mexico i live in the u.s we communicate and talk on a daily basis and we sweet talk each other but yes. i don't know what it means i like the way she is pursue it if you like the way she is you're 21 you have nothing to lose wait um, the, wait the question goes oh. i want to express my interest for her but also don't want to scare her any advice yeah, I would say. Oh my God, this goes back to the whole friends thing. You can't be friends with a girl. No, I think I think you kind of know, man. Like honestly, like I think you have to know and you have to know how to play your cards. You have to see what what's on the table for you. Yeah, I think is that, she giving you friend vibes yeah, or if, not? Yeah, if she's giving you too much friend vibes, if you're sweet talking and you got a sweet talking flirty, I think you know if you not take it, you can't take it to the next level. Yeah. But if you if if you feel like it might be awkward, which I think it always. You're always going to feel that way regardless, even if you're talking to a brand new girl because it always, you know, rejection is always there in the back of your mind. But I feel like you could sense, I feel like you could sense it now. So before you guys fall into a deeper friend, potential friend zone relationship, then I think maybe, you know, just see what the conversation is like. And then maybe I think you should just kind of go for it. But I, Dude, I, feel like you kinda, I think you at the end of the day, man. this is a simple one, I think. Yeah. If he's saying, I want to express my interest towards her, but he's just feeling fear, fuck the fear. Yeah, express your interest. The worst thing that's going to happen is she doesn't want to pursue something like that with you. And yes, it might make the friendship awkward, but then do you even really want to be friends with this person? Or were you always going to hope for something more? And if so, yeah. do yourself the favor and move on if she's not interested. Fuck the fear. Do what you want. Go for it. And women love that, by the way. If you, yeah, think, most women anyway, I'll say, if you're interested, they want you to tell them. No, oh, and if you're sweet talking, like if you're sweet talking to each other, then I think that just make the move, like make the bold move. I think that uh, don't be too cheesy about it. I think just be real. Tell be her. Just, just be like, tell her how you and don't, feel. Listen, don't tell her in a long format essay. Just, no. I, I feel like just hit her up. Like give her some cues, dude, honestly. Like I, I feel like you gotta be smooth about it. Um, because also don't spill your guts out. Cause that's always kind of scary. I feel like for a guy, you're probably gonna say the wrong things thinking that you're saying the right things. And for a girl, it's probably gonna be very hard to take in. Uh, and if in case she's on the fence about having a friendship or a relationship, like a, a lover relationship with you, maybe, you know, she'll kind of be thrown off by that as well. Um, but, but at the end of the day, you have these feelings for a reason and you need to pursue them. And if the worst thing happens and the worst thing happens, I need to know what can't... kind of sweet talk, bro. I, I you should have, I, I give me some examples. I need, I need to know what sweet talk means because like, it could be like, Hey, I love what, how you're dressing. And he could take that because he likes her and being like, Oh, she likes the way I dress where she could just be like, Hey man, well, cool. it doesn't matter. At the I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, be, 
Yeah, I, I, I want to need, some, I need some context <laughs> behind like what type Give of some context. Like, honestly, like, because it's hard to be like, yeah, obviously go for it, but then obviously not if the context is like, hey, she just says that like I, I, oh, I look so handsome, but like that could mean like anyone could say I look handsome, it doesn't mean the girl. But wants they're to... talking on a daily basis. Yeah, if you're talking on a daily they basis, they talk on a daily basis, and it seems game, like there's dude. some throw some, flirtation throw some, yeah, happening. Throw some, throw some... There's probably complications because it sounds like she still lives in Mexico and he's living in the U.S., so there's a long distance thing going on. But I think at the end of the day, all of those things can be worked but out. But it's so easy right to, to find out. If, if a girl isn't there, like you, you could throw so many like sneaky like things to her to see if she's actually vibing with you in that way, dude. Like You could throw some flirtatious things of being like, like not a friendship thing, but like, hey, I want to take it further. But and why, she could figure it out. But is that just to protect your ego? No, what I'm saying is she... Because like, if you're doing that, like trying to deceive well, he, I'm her, just trying to, no, deceive. would that change what you're going to do? No, because he could be like, dude, I'm trying to go, like, I want to go, like, where, I don't know, like, where am I going to take, like, I don't know if you're going to come to Mexico to see her, I don't know, man, it's hard, I, I need context, Yeah. I need context. I think, I think what you're saying is, like, more like, you can throw things out to see if she, she, she gets it back to you, yeah. and if so, then it's safe to make the move, right, is essentially what you're saying? Yeah, because then you'll know, because if you don't want to ruin the relationship, like, if you don't want to ruin the friendship, and then you'll know if she's like... But no. do you really want to be friends with someone? Also, if she's talking, if, if you're not talking about, if she's not talking about other guys, you're going to talk about other girls. I think it's also safe too. Because I feel like a lot of times a friend zone, when you're in a friend zone situation, like the girls tend to be like, friend zone, you can say, man, like I'm talking to this guy or I'm going on a date or something. I don't know, bro. Go for it. Just go for it. You have nothing to lose. Tell us how it goes. Please do it for oh, us. Oh, please tell and us how it just goes. Just let us know. DM us by Carlos Roberto at Twice the Moon. Let us know. And also, if you need more help along the way, just hit, hit me up. I got you. Hit both of us up. <laughs> we'll help you out. But I think that, um, I think go for it. Let's, let's throw some That's data. what I think. I think go for it. I think you have to go for the things you want in yeah. life. And if you really, like, you really are interested in her, then let her know. And yeah, don't make it super, like, and long. And, I mean, but either way, like, you guys are talking on a daily basis. You have a relationship established, whatever that is. And if she may not want more, she may not want more. But... At the end of the day, you're feeling this way it means you do. So you need to communicate those, I think. Because it's not fair to her or you if you're gonna eventually be like, I can't continue a friendship with you because I love you, you know, or something like that. Because yeah. you know how many times that happened where you're just like, I thought we we're friends, and then they're like, they just throw that curveball at you, and you're just like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it sucks. It sucks. I've had to tell a lot of girls, man. Sorry, we can't be friends. <laughs> Okay, go for it and tell us how it goes. Yeah, let us know, dude. Oh my god, seriously? Your phone died? My phone died. One uh, Okay, so the last one we'll do is the best tip to stay attracted to each other. It, well, hold on, let's, get, let's see one more. Let's see one more. Let's see what I'm feeling. That's a good one, but let's see if there's any. <laughs> Someone just put stay single. <laughs> What do you think hey, about some people that? do. Some people, I think, some people work better. I think that some way, people so do work cool. better that I way. That's a legit thing. I feel like if you don't want kids, um, actually, no, I don't want to say that. But I think that uh, some people just function better that way, and they just want their own space all the time, and they're fine with being lonely. Or like they're not lonely. Porn. Yeah. <laughs> they're the porn number one porn consumers. The P word. So that's one. That's a good one. I think the best tip. There's. There's. Let me see. All right, the best tip to stay attracted to each other is continue to stay sexy, bro. Like, I think the, uh, I think you should definitely um, not get lazy. I feel like, especially if you're in a relationship, um, make sure you're still putting effort into yourself. Make sure that you still stay attracted to yourself. At the end of the day, you're in a relationship with yourself before someone else. So take care of that as well. Don't get lazy. Um, and I think that goes both ways. Yeah, I think that's the best way. Like you could tell, like if someone, you know, if she just wakes out of bed or she's just like, I don't know, no one wants a slob. Yeah. Right. At the end of the day, <laughs> honestly, no one wants to be like. Imagine if I was just in basketball shorts and my hair messed up the entire day, and I'm just on the couch, but I'd be unattractive, uh, unless I was like sick or something. But like. 
I for you me, know, it's so your, funny because as a woman, as a woman's perspective, I think it's so funny because listen from the man, he's completely talking about outwardly, like how you stay attracted to somebody. So he's super visual. Men are generally visual, so that's where his mind immediately went. Yeah. For me, my attraction isn't always physical. If you're in basketball shorts all day, it probably wouldn't bother me as much as if you were being an asshole to me all the time, mm. <laughs> like or if you weren't putting effort towards me in other ways you yeah. know what i mean like my attraction towards you like i get really attracted like i get really turned on by you when you're sometimes when you just do something or you when you say something it has nothing to do with how you physically look mm, yeah you know what i mean so it, it is different for both parties so i think the way you stay attracted to each other is by understanding that and for it, what attracts you um for your mm. what attracts your partner to you yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously there's physical things you have to take care of yourself. I think the first thing you said is so like spot on is like, are you attracted to yourself? Like, are you feeling good about yourself? Because that's going to be the first thing that makes somebody, I feel like attracted to your confidence. Like how, like when you feel really good about yourself, usually you have really good self worth, self value, yeah. you're taking care of yourself. And then that's just immediately attractive. Yeah. So I think that's so like spot on is like, I know for myself when I'm not feeling the best, like I just don't even come to the relationship in the same way. You know what I mean? Like if I'm like not feeling my best, yeah, it's just, it's really hard for me to show up in the relationship in the same way. So you have to take care of yourself. And then, yeah, I think I can know what it is that turns the other person on and like makes the other person feel attracted towards you because it may be the outward stuff, like the, your physical appearance, but it could be other things. It could be like when he opens the door for me, like little things like that you do. Yeah. Because like, I love that. It makes me feel like, oh, I feel so taken care of. And I feel like, I feel attracted to you in, a, in like, like, oh shit. Like, mm. uh, dude, he, sometimes he does stuff where like, he just, he just handles something. Like he just handles it. And like that makes me attracted to you. Mm. Like, I don't know. Like, so there's different things, right? Like, dude, like little things that for me, like would be a big deal. Like he just handles it like, just like whatever. And I'm just like, damn, he's such a, oh, I love that. Like, you know what I mean? So I just think, I think know those things and, and, things. and try to make sure that you're continuing to do those things for each other. And yeah, and first and foremost, take care of yourself. Feel good about yourself. Yeah, take care of yourself, feel good about yourself. I think it is. It's like focus on yourself and making sure you feel good about yourself and that is going to probably be the best thing. That's true. The best thing. And then, yeah, obviously, like, if you're really doing... Let's say, but okay, what happens if, like, let's say I feel really good about myself but you're still losing attraction towards me? What happens then? And there's just something wrong. There's something else going on in the relationship, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Yeah, if he's losing attraction... Yeah, there's something going on for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these Canadian women drive me crazy. Like, because they're so hot? Look at those older ladies. God damn. He loves We have bill. a pool right here. That's why I have my glasses, <laughs> that's why I have my glasses on, too. I have, we're right by the window, and it was very bright. And my eyes are very sensitive, so um, pardon me. But, yeah, the pool's right there. And there's just the two ladies swimming very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're like two laps from this whole entire video. Uh, okay, guys. Well, there you go. There you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like these, we could do these on a weekly basis. Let us know. Let us know if you want like an I, advice, I, an advice column or something. An advice column, or if uh, yeah, how you guys want to incorporate um, like the loves uh, segments, and also if you want us to like merge the worlds with style, because we're thinking about we have a lot of things of ideas of how we're gonna like. Uh, introduce new things to the channel um obviously you guys are here for hair and style content as well i just know that the videos do well with with really like relationship videos do well on this channel as well so we want to keep them going so we just you know let us know how you guys want to see that or if you guys like this more then we'll keep it this way maybe get some chairs my back absolutely hurts sitting on the floor i um, love sitting on the I floor okay we have to get so, chairs so he's comfortable too. Or some, we could get two cameras. I would go in the other room. You go in. The room. I don't know, like something. I need to stand up. I, I really feel like my like it's hard. He's uncomfortable. I know. I mean, technically, I'm moving around a lot. I wonder if that's distracting for people. So you're probably right. Yeah, but he's right. Yeah, let me know. Let us know, and then we'll uh, make that happen. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos that are going up on this channel. 
All right, guys. Hasta luego. Peace out. I'm gonna go to the pool. Let's see where the Canadian women are this time. Oh, there's one snowbird. Where's she at? Dun, 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 dun. That's creepy, Carlos. Dun, 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 dun. See, the pool's like right here. So, all right, guys.